Hello class, Mr. Linder here, and welcome to Unit 1 of Human Physiology for this semester. So I want to show you guys a little bit about what you're going to be working on uh, over the next five weeks of the semester. So you're currently watching the Welcome to Unit 1 video, but I want to go back and show you guys how you got there. So on your Canvas page, uh, we are in the Modules section. So you've opened up the course. Uh, we have clicked on Modules. And so our various modules come up, and we have done Navigating Your Online Education, and now you're in Unit 1 starts here, Introduction to Human Physiology, Week 1. And you are currently watching the Welcome to Unit 1 video. When you are done with a particular module, you can go ahead and close that out. So just click the little arrow and that'll close those pages. Uh, so you can focus on which week you're actually working on. So you're currently, again, watching the Unit 1 video. So I want to start with Introduction to Unit 1. So let's go ahead and click on that page. And in this introduction, tells you a little bit about what you're doing uh, in Unit 1 for the next five weeks. And then it also shows you the five modules that you'll be working on. So each module will be for one week of the semester. So in this first unit, we are focused on the idea of homeostasis uh, and cellular coordination. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick review of chemistry uh, and cytology, so the structure and function of organelles within a cell. Uh, and then we'll be moving on to uh, membrane dynamics. Uh, diffusion, osmosis, facilitated diffusion, uh, various forms of active transport, primary, secondary, uh, endo and exocytosis. Uh, and as we go through those things, you'll be learning uh, the major physiological uh, concepts uh, as we move through those chapters. Uh, as you complete uh, chapter 5, you'll be getting into resting membrane potentials, uh, and resting membrane potentials uh, will help us to establish uh, a uh, basis for understanding how the nervous system works. Uh, and so once we have a grasp of the concept of resting membrane potentials, uh, we can really get into uh, how the nervous system functions, and we can look at the concepts of graded potentials action potentials, uh, and synaptic transmission. Uh, and, and once we get into the idea of synapses, we can then cover uh, neurotransmitters and how different kinds of neurotransmitters can be excitatory or inhibitory uh, within the nervous system. Uh, so it's a really exciting unit. Uh, there's going to be a lot going on. Uh, and again, it's divided into weeks uh, for you guys in the form of modules. So in week one, we'll be looking at the introduction to physiology, uh, and that'll really be focusing on the themes of physiology, uh, homeostasis, and, and feedback mechanisms. Uh, week two of the semester, you'll be doing chemistry and cytology. Uh, week three, uh, membrane dynamics and resting membrane potential. Week four is action potentials, and week five is synapses and neurotransmitters. So when you're ready to start the first week, uh, you simply click on Next, and that'll start taking you through the Introduction to Physiology module, and it'll take you to the various pages uh, for you to study. So let's go ahead and click Next. The first thing that I ask you guys to do uh, is to uh, interact uh, with each other through a discussion, uh, and it's really just to introduce yourself to the class discussion. Uh, so you'll get two points for uh, writing a little bit about yourself uh, and then responding to your peers. Uh, so that'll be the first assignment for the semester. If we click Next, uh, we get into uh, the meat of uh, the first module, uh, which is Introduction to Physiology. And what you find here is really we're looking at Chapter 1 of the book. Uh, I have a lecture notes uh, link for you. Uh, that is going to be uh, your document where you can take notes uh, from the chapter. I also have a PowerPoint presentation for you uh, to help you with a lot of the images uh, from the book. Uh, put them in an organized uh, PowerPoint, and also some of the uh, extra images that I have for you 
you guys that you can't find in your textbook. And then there's also a link to your e-text, so you can click on that link uh, and that'll take you into mastering uh, and you can look up uh, the various pages in your textbook. So you'll notice that on this page here, it says to read pages two to 18 in your textbook uh, and take notes on your lecture notes outline. But what's going to help me understand that information uh, on those pages in my book? If I click next, it's going to take you to a video for homeostasis. So as you're taking notes on homeostasis, uh, what you want to do is you want to watch this video uh, on homeostasis uh, and then read the sections in your book, take a look at your PowerPoint, uh, and that'll help you fill in your lecture uh, notes. When you click next, it's going to take you to the next video uh, or sets of videos. Uh, I give you some key points about this particular video, uh, and then it's all about learning uh, negative and positive feedback mechanisms uh, as they relate to the body. Uh, key points being that negative feedback is for maintaining homeostasis, positive feedback is for amplifying uh, certain physiological conditions. Uh, and then again, you can next to the next page and so forth and so forth and so forth. So I want to show you all of this under the modules again. So let's click on modules so you can see all the pages. So we have closed out our navigating your online education and we were clicking through the various pages. So here's your discussion introduction to the class. Here's your lecture notes uh, and PowerPoint. Here's that video on homeostasis videos on feedback mechanisms, and then you get to your first laboratory of the semester. So here's your laboratory report link. There will be a corresponding video uh, to watch for that particular laboratory, uh, and then you have a place to turn in your lab homework. Uh, so you would click on laboratory report, homeostasis, once you have completed your laboratory report, uh, you will upload uh, your finished document uh, for grading. Uh, and I have it set here for what kinds of documents are acceptable, so a doc, a docs, or a PDF. Uh, so make sure that you are keeping track of the due dates of things uh, as you work through the modules. Um, the way it's set up is that if you're doing a lab in week one, then the laboratory report will be due the next week. So it has a due date of August 18th. Um, so that, that's the idea behind uh, navigating through uh, the module system. Uh, and then there is mastering homework for module one, and then there's a quiz uh, in mastering for module one, uh, and those will be due by the end of the week. Okay, so you will be pacing your studying and your homework uh, on your schedule. And then week two will start, uh, and you will have, again, lecture notes, PowerPoint, uh, reading links, there's a discussion to participate in, and then all of the videos to watch as they relate to what you're working on. Uh, and that was chapter two, all the videos for chapter three. Uh, this week, there's no laboratory, uh, but there is an introduction to your research paper uh, for the semester. This will not be due till the end of the semester, but it's an introduction to that. And then we have week three in the unit. Uh, and you can see all the pages associated with that. Uh, and again, a lot of this will repeat itself. So laboratory work, mastering homework to do, uh, quizzing to do, and so forth. And then you have week four, and then you will have week five. When you get to the end of week five uh, of the unit, then you'll notice your unit one lab exam and your unit one lecture exam. Uh, those will be uh, do the following week. Uh, so you have the first five weeks of instruction and then your unit one lab exam, unit one lecture exam, you'll have one week to prepare for those uh, and then we'll take them uh, during the sixth week uh, of the semester. So that is your introduction to unit one. I hope that helps. Take care.